Mali, uh, in terms of, of Nelson and what um, Daniel Farker had, had to do in, in terms of leading out and things like that, can, as players, as the rest of the squad, do you, have to, do you fully appreciate where that's coming from? What, why he was left out? Yeah, um, and why he has to do it, I guess. Yeah, I think um, it's, it's the gaffer's choice, so we always got to respect his decision. He's the boss, you know what I mean? Um, but like I said, I think, yeah, I think Nelson's done well. He's worked hard for the team. He works his socks off in games, and um, yeah, he's got all the ability in the world. So he's a top player. Maybe it was good for him to come out for one game, and now he's, you know, back in. And um, yeah, he's always he's got he's got everything to be. Uh, quality, so we're we're fully behind him. Yeah, I, I think back to pre-season and that wonderful goal you scored against Brighton. Since then, we haven't really seen much more of that, and, and I, I appreciate it. No doubt, it's really hard when you're trying to find form and things like that. Can can you put it down to why it hasn't really happened for you? Yeah, I don't want to make. I'm not going to make excuses and just like, you know. Um, I had a lot of inj- I'd missed a lot of pre-season with an injury. I had a lot of in and out injuries. Um, the gaffer likes to rotate, um, and um, you know that suspension as well hasn't helped. So it's been a bit stop-start. But like I said, I just you know it is what it is, and um, I just gotta make sure I'm there for my teammates when I'm out of the squad. Prepare prepare them for each and every game, and that's what I feel I've tried to try to do. You know what I mean? Give hundred percent. And um, but yeah, obviously I need to do better. But I think I haven't had a proper run of games. I think I've played three in a row the most. I know I didn't do exceptionally well there, but um, yeah, it's just been one of them seasons really. But I'm not going to let it defeat me. You know what I mean? I'll come back stronger. Yeah, I'm afraid you've kind of reminded me of your suspension now <laughs> in the season. Yeah. So I mean, you you kind of appreciate. I know it's not the same for Nelson, but that kind of um, on the outside kind of situation how, how tough was that time for you yes it's tough and lonely but um, you know it's all for a reason I feel it's, it strengthens you. Um, if you, if you if you take positives from adversity or whatever um, you know I just want to get back to playing like I know I can play and um, yeah and just for the team as well um, trying to end the season on a high and take it into next season and uh, yeah all right Paul <laughs> Fine. Uh, and, and I mean, I know as Chris said, you've got Barnsley coming up as well, and, and you know, assuming you're involved, say on Saturday, um, what I guess you'd really want to do now is if you get a chance, take it. Is that the one thing maybe at times you haven't been able to do this year? Um, yeah, maybe. I think I've had, I think my best performances have been away, so I don't think they've been noticed as much. But um, yeah, obviously, I need to do better. Um, I always try and look at myself. Just keep improving. I'm training with quality players every day, learning a lot of like legends like Wes. Um, so, yeah, it's, um, it's been I've learned and I'm getting better. So, don't really obviously it matters that I'm, I haven't done well, but at the same time, I'm still getting better in the long term. So, just got to look at the positives. And yeah, just uh, yeah, give my all for the team when I do play and try and do well. Oh, Cheers, mate. Thank you. That's the same ref tomorrow, boy. Who you sent you off at Reading? Put him. It's the same ref who sent you off tomorrow oh, at Reading. Oh, nightmare! So, <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, no two footers from me. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> keep them under wraps. But um, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're talking quite honestly and openly there about you and your season on a personal level. I'm just thinking, you know, looking at your career. You know, you've had adversity. You know, you had to drop it in the non-league, went up to Scotland. Can you tap into those times as well when it hasn't all been plain sailing? Definitely. Um, that's probably. <clears throat> what helps get you through it at times you think I've been doubted before been abused before um, so it's just about turning it into a positive positive energy maybe this summer um, you know train hard <clears throat> with back to action I go to a summer camp in the summer it's quality and just um, yeah come back stronger and use it as good good energy you know what I mean but but obviously yeah it'd be disappointing but looking back um yeah, a few things haven't helped, but yeah, like I said, it is what it is. Just gotta improve. And just final one in terms of, you know, we we remember you at Barnsley, and, and you know down the middle scoring goals, pace. Yeah. 
where do you prefer to play in an ideal world? Because I mean, he's tried you there. He's brought you on for Dennis midweek down the middle. Is that a role you think you could grow into? Um, I'd say. Well, I didn't play in the up front on my own last season. I played in a two, um, and I was the more runner, the presser. You know, the dirty work, if you like. Um, well, Sam when I was a quality player, was hitting the box, finish it. You know what I mean? Like we worked, we had a great partnership. Um, and then on the right as well was where I played most, and that's where I got, you know, double figure goals, uh, nine assists. <clears throat> so, um, and I haven't really played on the right this season, but that's the, you know, we play with wing backs now. It's a different system, so it's all learning. You know what I mean? So, just gotta, yeah, keep learning it, and um, yeah, it's been it's been a learning experience definitely. Thanks, mate.